Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to talk about the tips, tricks and hidden features of the HTC One M9. This video would be useful to new users as well as advanced users to learn more about the device. So without any further ado, let's get started. Swipe to the left from your home screen and you will be accessing your Blink feed. So to disable it, tap and hold on an empty space, select manage home screen and then remove the Blink feed page. To quickly access the widget space, just pinch in on any of the home screens. And there you go. With M9, you get a default widget called Sense Home. This is something like different profiles. According to the location, like Home, Workplace, this widget will automatically recommend you the apps that you use the most. Say for example, if I'm at home, these are the apps that I use the most. Now let me just change it to Work. And as you can see the set of apps changes. You also get something called suggestions where this widget will recommend the apps that you would like to use. Previously with the M7 and the M8 we had the separate app for the flashlight. But with the M9 and the latest version of Sense we get the flashlight toggle on the quick settings which is quite handy. Also in the recent apps window now you can clear all the running apps at once from here which was not available with the previous version of Sense. Over here on settings, you have additional options, screen pinning and layout for recent apps. Screen pinning is simply disabling the interactions on the screen you want to. Say for example, if I want to pin the screen on the phone app, so open the phone app first and hit recent apps button and then tap onto this icon. Now start. As you can see, all the interactions are blocked apart from the application. Even if we lock the device, we get back to the same screen. So this is very handy as it keeps people locked into the app you specifically set. Again, to disable it, press the back button and the recent apps button simultaneously. From layout, you can choose between the grid view and the card style view. Coming to the app drawer, from here you can rearrange your apps on the basis of alphabets, recents, or arrange it manually. From menu, we have options to hide or unhide the apps, manage apps, and change the grid size of the application drawer. We do get new stock apps, and all the stock apps are updated inspired from the material design. On the camera, swipe to change between the front camera and the rear camera. We also have different camera modes which you can choose from here or you can add different modes as well. On settings, under camera options, you have options for auto smile capture and voice capture. That is, you can say cheese, shoot, capture to take a photo, action and rolling to start shooting. Very handy. Capture. Rolling. Likewise, you can use your volume keys to zoom or capture according to your convenience. Gallery UI has also been updated and this time HTC have also included a photo editing application with advanced editing tools which is really good to see. Peel is a new remote app to control your TV, air conditioner, DVD player, setup box, etc. Once the setup is done, you also can add a widget and then control your device. We have the updated file manager app which supports USB OTG out of the box. So now you can carry an OTG cable and then you can access your pen drives, hard drives anywhere you want. Now let's go on to themes. With previous version of HTC, we were limited to certain number of customization. But now you get a whole bunch of themes which will entirely change the way your device looks. From wallpapers to icon packs, fonts and so on.
From the slider menu, you can choose from wallpapers, sounds, icons, fonts, etc. So it's good to see the next level of customization with this default software. Also, this app lets you to choose different wallpapers, icons, sounds, fonts and create your own theme. Now let's go to settings. First of all, we get the search option, so it's easy to search for settings. Below that, we have regular settings for connectivity like Wi-Fi, NFC and so on. Moving on to personalization. From home screen launcher, you can switch between easy mode and normal mode. So easy mode is basically a simple version of Sense. Back to the settings, managing home screen pages and themes, this I have already shown you. Now you can also customize your navigation button. Just choose the button you want to add and rearrange them. Then hit done. And there you go. But the thing to note here is you only can select up to 4 shortcuts. You can change the accent colors from here. As you can see. New fonts are available like Helvetica which looks very minimal and nice. From accessibility, you can enhance the functionality of your device like magnification gesture where you can simply triple tap any area to zoom in, color inversion, color correction which neutralizes red, blue and green colors to comfort your eyes, use power button to end the call and so on. Under display and gesture, we have glove mode. Enabling this will enhance the touchscreen sensitivity. With this enabled, you can also control your device while wearing gloves. Under motion launch gestures, we have various actions that we can perform via gestures on the lock screen. For example, double tap to wake and sleep, volume to launch the camera, swipe to the left to access the blink feed and many more. Now the boom sound also comes with Dolby Audio, enhancing your music experience by allowing you to switch between music mode and theater mode. When you plug in a headphone, you can choose from the type of headphone that you have connected for better listening experience. Under sound and notifications, we have different interruption modes. That is, even if your device is in the do not disturb mode, your important contacts will be able to call you and text you. Other enhancement remains the same like the pocket mode and flip to mute. While you are on the home screen, pressing any of the volume keys will allow you to choose from different interruption mode. Like none, that will block all the notifications. Priority is you will receive notifications from important contacts only. And lastly we have the general mode. Under power, we have power saving mode and extreme power saving mode for situations when you are running out of battery. Apart from that, everything remains the same. Now going on to about device, software information, more. Now tap the build number 7 times. So this will enable developer options. So if you are on to custom ROMs and routing and stuff, this is very handy. We don't have the dot view case right now, but with the new dot view app, we get new themes. And you can also add your own theme by selecting a picture from your gallery or take a picture from your camera.
Also, the new dot view case supports notifications from various applications. Previously, it was limited to weather, text and calls only. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you found it useful. Stay tuned for more. I will be coming up with more videos like these. Thank you guys for watching and you guys have a great time.